Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Now, I'm gonna be showing you guys really quickly how I make um, my turkey spaghetti. Now, I love ground turkey, you guys. And so at the last minute I decided, hey, I need to put this into a video for you guys. I just love sharing recipes. I just love to cook. I'm a, a mom of three boys and yeah, I just love to cook and I love to cook from scratch. So. Uh, really quick, this is the Jenny O ground turkey. I just picked up one at the store last night. It's a three pound pack of Jenny O ground turkey. Smells so good, you guys. I wish you guys could smell the herbs that I put into the meat. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what seasonings I put into it. But um, I love to add a lot of olive oil. So I have my olive oil in my squirt bottle and I put tons of olive oil into the pan. Sometimes add a little extra because olive oil really makes food taste good and it keeps the meat tender. Okay, so really quick, let's go down the line of what seasonings I like to use for my um, ground turkey spaghetti. So of course, pink Him Himalayan salt. Now I get the pink Himalayan salt from Costco. This is just a refill bottle that I just use over and over um, to refill my salt. Um, black pepper, garlic, onion paprika oh i have another garlic here <laughs> well anyway you guys get the picture and these are all ground right and then of course italian seasoning because it makes it taste so good and i just love the herbs that are in here i'll be using barilla angel hair pasta i just love the angel hair i don't really buy the thick spaghetti or even the thin spaghetti um most of the time i'm using this for mostly all of our pastas i don't know i just like it better so my water is boiling i'm gonna throw the pasta um, into there a uh, really good tip is to add some salt to your water um, before you throw the pasta in because that really is gonna flavor your noodles this is my favorite store-bought pasta sauce um, you can use this for any type of pasta this is the ragu chunky style tomato garlic and onion you can get these for under five dollars at uh, many uh, of your local stores um, i usually pick mine up from either uh, ralph's or walmart smart and final um, as well really quick i just want to give you guys a tip when you make your ground turkey do not overcook it because ground turkey can dry out so you definitely don't want to overcook your meat and make sure you add that olive oil into the meat to help it um, jazz it up with some flavor as well as keeping the meat moist. So when your water's boiled, you want to get your noodles in there. And you don't need to cook these noodles for too long because it's angel hair. So they cook very fast, which I like. I also like to add some olive oil to the water. Oops. <laughs> and then olive oil to the noodles as well once they're fully cooked. I'm going to be cooking two of these angel hair pastas. I have one boiling already. So when that one's done in the pot, I'm going to just remove it really quickly and then add this. I'm not going to dump the water, I think. I'm going to try a little kitchen hack here. I'm just going to like, you know, take the noodles out and then add this and then um, dump the water. Because I don't want to reboil water. You know what I'm saying? Over. And then I'm going to be putting my dish into this big um, foil container because I'm cooking for a sister friend of mine from church face her baby shower I got this at um, smart and final this is the first street full-size steam table um, deep dish I think these are a dollar ninety nine but they got good prices on these because you never want to pay too much for these and I'm hoping I can only have to use just one of these but we'll see this is actually the 66 ounce so it's four pounds another kitchen hack go ahead and get you one of these big boxes of aluminum foil this is um 500 feet you guys instead of just buying just little packages here and there you can save some coins and always have plenty of foil i got this one at smart and final this is the first, smart and final first street brand Okay, so yeah, this is the 12 inch wide aluminum foil. I'll be using this foil to cover the food as I transport it to the uh, baby shower. 
So do you guys have any favorite uh, spaghetti recipes, pasta recipes? Um, leave your um, recipe um, down below if you feel led to share. And um, like, what is what are your favorite seasonings you like to put into your pasta? Do you have any kitchen hacks? I'm sorry, cooking hacks uh, regarding pasta, spaghetti? Um, yeah, leave your comments down below. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. My name is Beautiful Joy. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. And I hope to do more videos like this, you guys. I just love to cook. Um, my kids love my cooking. My husband loves my love my cooking. I wasn't always a cook in the past. And uh, man, I remember I, feel like I was feeling so bad years ago when my kids were a little bit younger. And I said, I gotta get in the kitchen and start cooking, y'all. So um, I've gotten some tips from my mother-in-law here and there. But all I did was just go on Pinterest. I went online, looked up recipes, experimented. So that's what you have to do to really um, start cooking if you're not really a cook. And they hate fast food. We cannot do fast food. Like it just, it's not the same as a home cooked meal, right? It looks like my pasta is done. I like to just take one noodle out and try it. And so just cook it to your liking, but you never want to overcook your pasta because it could just, you know, evaporate. So I got my first batch of pasta here. I think this is gonna work. Um, I have plenty of water here left over. It's not fully evaporated, so I'm gonna go in the second batch of noodles. Okay, so I wanna keep my noodles warm, so um, I don't wanna cool them down. So I'm gonna put some olive oil for flavor. It also helps the um, noodles from sticking together. Be very generous with the olive oil. Okay, everybody, so I have my noodles cooked. This is what two packs of angel hair pasta looks like once it's done and it's in this pretty large size party tray as you guys can see and now I'm gonna add the ground turkey and the pasta and get it all um, completed ready to be transported to this baby shower okay so ground turkey is just right on top I'm gonna add a little bit of more oil because olive oil is always good brings a lot of flavor to the dish right Now it's time to add the ragu chunky sauce. And once again, I got the tomato, garlic, and onion. This is naturally flavored. And I'm gonna add four pounds. And I'm hoping one will um, cover, be enough for the whole pasta because you never want the pasta to be dry. So I just love cooking, you guys. I really do. I'm just getting so excited. I just have to share that. But anyway, it looks like the four pounds is good. So I just went ahead and poured it. Um, now I'm just going to mix everything up and then probably pop this in the oven just to warm up the dish um, later, right before I leave for the shower. It's supposed to go set up at 10 a.m. for the baby shower and it starts at 11. So um, I'm going to put it in the oven and warm it um, while I take a shower and get dressed and then um, it should be good because I don't want to deliver it like really cold, you know. So... Um, yeah god bless you guys i'm going to end this video if you guys have any questions or concerns anything about regarding this recipe if you want to see more videos like this please let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe and um you know what let me mix it and i'll show you guys okay so here's the dish all mixed up it looks so good you guys right and so what i'm going to bring to the party as well i have like a really big tall parmesan um grated grated parmesan shaker from Costco I found last night. So I'm gonna bring that so people can uh, put that cheese topping over the pasta. So it's actually one of these, um, but it's really big. It's like double the size of this one. It was like $6.99 and I found it in my Costco vlog. If you guys didn't get a chance to see that one, um, that one went up live last night or even either this morning. So check that one out. Um, so God bless you guys. And I know they're gonna all really enjoy this turkey um, spaghetti. It's a healthy alternative um, if you don't want to use beef. So God bless you guys. Take care. God bless you.